Hello, this is Pretimber Graphics, and in this tutorial we will be creating this awesome notification bell animation that you've probably seen many times in those YouTube subscribe overlays and whatnot. And let me go ahead and say that there are different ways of creating this, and the, the more proper way to do this would be to create each piece in uh, Adobe Illustrator and then import those pieces in After Effects and then apply some animations, but the way we will be using this tutorial is just uh, using After Effects alone because you can indeed create these shapes and layers in After Effects without any difficulties. So without further ado, let's jump in and start creating this animation from scratch. So let's create a new composition. Let's call it Bell 920 by 1080. Click OK. All right, first of all, we need our bell animation, uh, bell uh, icon, of course, so you can just Google any YouTube bell icon, PNG, whatever in Google. This is literally the first thing that comes up. So just drag it on the timeline and here, select it, then go to layer, auto trace, and just copy these settings. And if you turn on the preview, you kind of get the, the preview of what you'll be getting out of this. So click OK here. And now the new layer has been created, so we don't need PNG anymore. You can select it, delete it. All right, so this is the auto trace bell icon. So what this is, this is just a, a shape uh, that contains different masks for each layer. And what we need to do here, we need to isolate each uh, layer with each specific mask into inside of it. So we for let's duplicate this three times. So select it and click Control D twice. And now let's rename the bottom part to bell body. Click on it and click M. And now you see all the masks. So it contains four masks. And if we select mask number one, you'll see that this middle part gets selected with squares. And usually the other ones are like circulars. So that's how you know that you're selecting this specific mask. So what we need to do here, it's a bell body. So we need to isolate this mask, so I, I mean, delete all the other masks and leave out this one mask. So select all the other masks and click delete. And then let's go to the next one. Let's collect, uh, rename to left, left for this beat part here. So select it, click M, find the right mask, I think mask number two. Yeah, you see it gets selected with the squares now. So select all the other masks, just leave the two out and click delete. And continue the, with the last one, rename to right for this part, click on it, click M, find the right mask, so mask number three is for the right part, so select all the other masks, click delete, and leave that one out. Alright, as you can see, we got rid of the bottom part, that's because you don't really need, I'll show you why in a second. So go to the shape tool, click and hold and select the lips tool, you can, you know, well, change color to white and just create a small ellipse like so remember to hold shift so it's a proportional size so align it in the middle then select the selection tool and well let's rename this this to bottom and bring it to the bottom and then align it like so okay then go to the shape tool hold it uh, click and hold and select rectangle tool and now you can change the color to something like red so you can see it easier and draw a shape like this and you can like select it press T for opacity de decrease the opacity to align it better and I think this is good enough so bring back the opacity and let's rename this layer to mask and bring this layer and put it above the bottom part Okay, and what we need to do, we click F9 until you see this track map option. And for the bottom part here, click the drop down and select the alpha inverted mat. And then, then you should not see the right bit, uh, the red shape anymore. In fact, it sort of cuts our circle in half. That's what we need. So here, the creating of our, you know, bell itself is done. So now we can sort of transfer to actual animating animation so select the selection tool by pressing v and okay one more thing we need to do before we proceed is that we need to select mask and bottom parts and you know parent them to bell body so drop the pig whip drop it to the bell body and now select the bell body 
and come to here, click this pan behind tool and drag the anchor point to somewhere right here. So do the same for the bottom part, select it and drag the you know the anchor point to the top like so. All right, so now you can select the selection tool and we can start animate. And this animation is pretty simple. It will just be applying rotation keyframes to, to these. So let's just select the bottom part, the belt body, and click R for rotation and click the stopwatch for and to create keyframes. And we will be moving 10 frames at a time and applying keyframes. And yeah, this will all make sense. Just follow along. So move 10 frames forward by pressing shift page up or page down. It's either one of those. All my key, key binds are a bit different. Uh, just remember to hold shift and you'll move 10 frames at, at a time. So, well, first let's create a keyframe for bell body. So, change, move 10 frames forward, uh, go to 10 frames and change the value of rotation to something like, uh, something like 20. And then move 10 frames forward and change the rotation for bottom bit for, and for like minus 18. Yeah, so if you preview this, you sort of get the idea of what's going on. Like in a sort of okay, so this will all make sense. Uh, move 10 frames forward, then change the value of bell body rotation to minus 20, and 10 frames forward, and change this one to 18. Okay, and keep doing this for like a couple seconds. 10 frames forward, and bring this back to 20, 10 frames, and minus 18, another 10 frames, then minus 20. Another 10 frames, and this will be 80. Oops, 80. Okay, so if we preview this now, you know, this looks weird. I know. So, from here, let's just slowly start decreasing our, you know, swinging, um, or ro like rotation values. So, 10 frames forward from here. And so let's start bringing this down. So, change this to something like 18, then move 10 frames forward, and change the bottom rotation value to something like something like um I don't know, like minus four no minus sixteen is it like, right ten frames from here change this one to minus sixteen ten frames ahead and change this one to fourteen another ten frames forward change this one to something like twelve then ten frames forward from here and change this one to minus ten ten frames forward and you see the, the process is pretty simple. It's just uh, just you know, simple keyframes and just requires, you know, some time. And wait, you can go last. What? This was 12. All right. So now we can bring this to like minus 10. Right, minus 10. Then this was 10 or actually minus 10. So we can bring this to something like 8. And 10 frames forward, and let's just drastically start decreasing this. So, 6, 10 frames forward, let's bring this to minus 4, 10 frames forward, this will be minus 3, 10 frames forward, this will be some like, uh, I don't know, like 3, 10 frames forward, let's bring this to 0, and then 10 frames forward, this will be minus 3. So, you, you know that, let's create this. Uh, Thing that when the bell itself stops, this bottom part still swings, does a couple more swings until it stops entirely. So move 10 frames forward, take the to 3, 10 frames forward, and let's make it to 0. Alright, so I think this is good enough. So if you, we preview this right now, you'll see that it looks... Let's actually hide the right and left parts for now. It, it looks, you know, uh, kind of like weird almost but if we select all the keyframes and press f9 and like this should look better but it's still kind of slow of course and let's decrease the overall duration of the r animation here to three seconds so go to three second mark and click hold alt and drag the all the keyframes and align the last keyframe to three second mark and if we preview this right now well this looks a bit better I mean, it's still kind of slow in my opinion, but yeah, you, you can play with it yourself and adjust it to your liking. I'm just going to leave it like so. Okay, and let's bring back our right and left parts. And if we see while this swings, it, they sort of overlap. 
And what we can do to fix this, select the P, uh, the right and left part, select P for position. And we can actually like, click, click the, you know, stopwatch. And let's just bring them a bit to something like, like, you know, like 990. It, do they still overlap? I don't think so. This is good enough. So I bring this to something like 930. Should do the, yeah, should be just enough. Yes, it is. So now bring these keyframes to something like one second. Then move back to the beginning and we need to like bring them to the middle. I mean, you can do this more precisely on your own, like find the exact so you know values for position of course, but I'm not going to do that because of the, you know, don't want to make this one too long. So then select the keyframes, press F9, go to graph editor, grab these keyframes here and drag the handle all the way to the left. All right, this should just give us a very smooth animation like so. Okay, so if we preview this all the way, you'll see that, you know, it's, uh, you know, working, our bell is swinging, everything's nice. And yeah, honestly, there is not really much more to this and um, yeah you can of, of course apply different aspects to this like because if, if you see that I, I had some you know wiggle effect here but um, well that's I don't I'm not, I'm not gonna cover that in this tutorial I think this is good enough like if you want me to record an additional like full in-depth tutorial and have to do this exact one with the, the swinging bits and stuff let me know in comments below, but I'm going to leave it like so. We can make this better, so press F9 until you see these options, and you can turn on motion blur for like all the layers, you know, so this looks a bit better. You can see that it's a bit blurred out, so. Uh, of course, we can change the color of this, so if we, you know, like pre-compose this for now, let's say, you know, Pre-compose. You can apply, like, go to effects and presets, so or you can just right-click on the layer itself, go to effects, generate, fill, and of course you can apply any color that you want, like something like this. Gray is usually the the color or the bells, you know. But you can not play around with it and really adjust it to your liking. And yeah, this is pretty much it. So if you enjoyed. Uh, please uh, hit the like button and of course if you want more tutorials like this subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments down below which uh, tutorial you want me to record next and once again thank you for watching and have a good day